بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so now in this lab we'll be seeing how to set up the cisco eyes so probably we'll we can do on multiple devices whether it is on a gns3 with a gns3 platform by downloading the images or you can also do it on the cisco uh, the cisco ice image can may also be done on evng as well by using winscp or you can even download the cisco uh, ice image iso file and which can be installed on any of the vm or any any virtual machine and that can be connected to the gns3 or the evng topology so there are different ways you do actually do it uh, we'll start with the first option where i'm going to download the cisco ice image and we'll try to set up the same thing on the gns3 here so i do have my gns3 which is already set up and as you can see there is also the server uh, from where i'm running this gns3 vm so make sure that you are running this gns3 vm either on the local machine or on the remote server so in my case, you can see this is the GNS3 VM, which is running on the, on the server here. So it's my GNS3 VM. And how we can verify, we can go to the preferences where you need to make sure that I've added the remote server where I'm running the GNS3 VM. I'm not running the local uh, one. That will be sufficient. So now the next step is we need to download the Cisco software. Uh, you can need to have that Cisco image again the three dot version and most of the images what you will see are based on the iso format so we also need to convert them into uh into the format which is supported in the gns3 which is going to be this format so you can just download the drive from the drive which i'll be sharing which is the cisco is three dot version which i'm using so probably any version it's going to be the same process so we go with the current version the three dot zero version here and i already have this image so the next step is we need to also download the gns3 appliance file so we can search on the google for cisco gns3 appliance for the cisco eyes so i have to download this cisco eyes uh, image so i'm going to save this in the download option and then we'll quickly save now i'll go to my gns3 and we'll try to import the appliance so we'll go and say import the appliance and that appliance is going to be cisco eyes now i'm going to run this on the remote server because that is what running i don't have the gns3 vm local running so i'm going to select that server where i'm running the gns3 vm on my remote server click on next and once you click on next now here this is the place where we need to upload the image so we do have this 2.7 up to here. We don't have the 3. Dot version. So I'm going to the 3. Dot version, which I'll be using. So this is going to be the 3. Dot version. I'll say uh, create a new version, and this new version is going to be 3.0. That's Cisco Eyes 3.0. And then we'll click on this. So I do have this empty uh, file that something already found. So I can just go ahead and select this image. So I need to go ahead and select the image, uh, the image location on your local drive. I'm going to copy that image, and this is going to be the image which I'll be using. So once you select the image, it is going to start uploading the image. This process will take a few minutes for to upload. OK, so the file has been uploaded. It took some time to upload now it's around 14 gb of the file so it may takes around uh, 15 20 minutes or even more depending upon the processing capabilities so as you can see this is something what it shows up and once you click on next it's going to ask you do you want to install the cisco eyes for this version yes i want to finish it off now once we do this we should be able to see this device here that's something what we should see and I can click on start button to start the device and I can also get into the console to see the CLI. Now, once you're in the CLI, probably we'll be seeing the next step, uh, probably the next topic where we'll try to see the basic initial configuration. So if you're able to see the uh, device is booting up, again, this will take some time. 